I wanted to do a, a quick little video here. Whatever quick means to me is probably different to you, but whatever. Um, so I just got my truck reprogrammed at the dealership. I got it put back to stock because I had no way to add or remove tunes from this truck that were already on here. And they were complete and utter garbage. And um, so now it's back to stock. And I figured now is a perfect opportunity to do a comparison between an 06 LLY and LBZ. Because there is a bit of a difference. Not a humongous amount. But I've driven my dad's 06 LLY. I can show you the fin to show you it's a fin 2 instead of a fin D. And... Uh, I've driven that one 100% stock because it's only had tunes for about a month, month and a half. And um, his truck is still completely stock component-wise. Uh, other than a down a, a turbo back exhaust, it still needs to downpipe the Y bridge, the cold air intake, and, you know, it needs all that. And the manifolds, we got a whole manifold kit for it, so it's, it's going to breathe. But... Uh, there's a difference in the throttle that is a world of difference. So some of you who drive LLYs will know or have driven one that LLYs have a very sensitive throttle. I mean, you go from an LB7, which is uh, just, you know, completely, it's in a way it's kind of like a first gen Cummins. It's all mechanical so to speak, you know what I mean? It's just the throttle, ever the turbo, you have to wait for it to spool, but yet when you tune it, it gets spunky. But before you tune it, it's just a freaking dog. It barely moves. And um, LLY, they compensated for that. But they overcompensated in their programming from the factory. So it's just ridiculous what they did. So what did they do on the 06 LLY? Well, because people complained about the throttle sensitivity, they compensated for that. But then they overcompensated for it again. Like, let's, let's not just make it a little bit softer. Let's make it a complete and utter dead pedal. So when you hit the gas, you can move it, you know, probably the throttle about that much. And you go nowhere. Because the truck is still idling. And then you push it a little bit further, and then you start to accelerate a little bit. It's a complete and utter freaking dog off the line. And it has some torque to it, don't get me wrong. But driving my stock LBZ now, Vin D, this thing is a lot better. I mean, I was driving a pretty hot tune from what I could tell. When you would smash the pedal in this thing, you'd go from 0 to 70 in a freaking blink of an eye. I mean, it must have been the hottest tune you could put on this thing with a stock trans. Now, the trans is kind of limping a little bit. But, um, so, the throttle off the line is not different in the LBZ. And that made me nervous. I took it to the dealership. These guys are great up there at, um, is it Schneider? Sch Schneider? Something. Sch oh, Schweider's. My bad. Schweider Chevrolet of Cold Spring. They're they good guys up there. They really took care of me. And I'm happy, happy to do more business with them in the future. They, uh, <clears throat> they did everything. I mean, I since this is a new engine, whatever I do with that piece of paper, I had to write down my injector numbers off of the new injectors that were in this engine when I put it in. Because um, the old injectors were still in the ECM and they have different flow rates for every single injector has a different flow rate. So if you ever do injectors on your truck, you need to get it programmed for those new injector numbers. And you need to write them down both sets of numbers so they can use them both. Um, so going with that, the program the truck back to stock but i drove it out of the engine bay and i was like this thing does not feel like it has been d2 and back to stock it feels the same as it was but then i pulled out because they're right on the freeway i pulled out and i got on it probably a good three three quarter throttle but after that first quarter throttle you could be like oh yeah it's stock 
Mm -hmm. It's got very, very, very good parking lot performance. I mean, you just scoot right along, get up right up to speed if you're not even trying. But as soon as you step into it quarter to half to three quarter throttle, it it doesn't have much more power to give. It's got torque, but it doesn't have a whole lot of horsepower to give. So, and that was the biggest difference between the LBZ and the LLY 06 is his has an extreme dead pedal and has torque once you get into it and still sluggish and this one has very great parking lot performance and is still sluggish and has torque when you need it so not a humongous difference but a throttle position or throttle sensitivity and obviously the 30 horsepower uh, factory difference now duramax tuner says you know if you have an 06 lly and you're looking to get tunes when you call us for tunes or email us let us know that you have an 06 lly because it has 30 less horsepower than in a stock lbz and we will send you tunes for an lbz with that compensated 30 horsepower um and that's what I did to Corey Willis as I put in there. It's an 06 LLY looking for LBZ tunes. And um, because his truck is stock intake exhaust pretty much, it's still a freaking dog. We run it on tune three um, just because that one feels nice without getting the EGTs too hot. But it's still it's still a freaking dog. But this thing's got everything done to it. Cold air, Y-bridge, EGR delete and downpipe exhaust driver side manifold it's got what it needs to breathe properly and you know so yeah and with that tune that was on here it freaking screamed it screamed loud and proud and the transmission was not happy about it but uh i also ordered because i have tunes on the way for this truck if i didn't mention that Corey Willis, because I have his uh, auto cal thing and I don't want to unlink it from his whatever and link it to someone else's and whatever. I just figure I love the tunes on my LB7. Other than the throttle sensitivity on that, it's a little overkill when you're driving down the freeway. The throttle's either on or off and you're constantly going. As the throttle kicks on and off because of what the cruise control set because the throttle is very pinpoint it's got that finite spot to where it's just like here's some power here's some more power here's some power here's some more power you know it's just so touchy and the truck doesn't know how to regulate that very well but other than that i mean that that truck there is i've got that video Corey willis stage five um, and that's got everything it needs to breathe properly as well, other than a Y-bridge, but, but it's got the turbo inlet, you know. So it's 5.4 seconds, 0 to 60. That's really freaking quick for a three-quarter ton diesel. Yes, it's an extended cab, but whatever. Um, it's also running bigger tires <clears throat> and was running uh, open country Toyos at the time. So, you know, there's some friction to overcome. So I'd kind of wonder what this thing will do on stage five with these little pizza cutter street tires, the Michelins. Um, nothing wrong with them. They're just, I really do miss the toy open country look. It really looked good on this truck. It really made it stand out. But, um, <clears throat> so I love Corey Willis's tunes on that truck. That one, we'll have to find out once we get it, everything put on and whatnot. Which we're going to pull the engine out. When, when we have all the parts we need, we're just going to pull the engine out because we're going to just... His bolts are rusty. Rustier than rusty. I mean, getting them off without busting them off in the turbo, good luck. So we're going to pull the engine out, do the Y-bridge, probably do head studs, do a whole nine yards while it's, you know, just get it out, get it done, put it back in. Because I can get an engine out in a day. I can have it back in, um, you know, in a day and a half running. So... <clears throat> Um, we'll see what Corey Willis's tunes are like on this truck being it's a full-fledged LBZ and um, I'll probably be running it on the hot tune most of the time probably um, I really wish I knew I could probably call the guy that did the tunes for this truck uh, in the beginning and uh, ask him if with my VIN number if he can tell me what kind of tunes he had on it because it was very strange it was very not good at all i hated it i absolutely hated it uh this tune 
stock tune will build 25 pounds of boost you step into it that tune that i had running super duper hot wouldn't build that tune wouldn't build more than 22 pounds of boost when you're into it hot so that's pretty pathetic to me um because that i'm gonna build 31 pounds of boost you know stock air stock or stock turbo stock stock injectors that's that's lame and this one's computerized so you can tell it to freaking crank them veins and build some serious freaking boost but obviously you can only build so much with a stock turbo before it becomes too much for the turbo but uh, i mean that's just ridiculous it's one thing I probably will do if we ever have to replace the turbo on this or the bo on Dad's LLY is put a factory 05 VIN 2 LLY turbo because they've got a little bit bigger compressor wheel. And then on top of that, put the Batmobile in there. That should that should really freaking scream and be nice. That'd be really nice. Get some whistle out of these LBZs because these they, they whistle out the exhaust, but they don't whistle under the hood. It's a bummer. Um, cause the LLY was nice and crisp and you could tell you were built, buddy. So, so yeah, I just figured I'd share a little, little insight. And if you want some good guys to go to that you, you have very little faith in dealerships like I have, as I've had some very, very bad experiences at dealerships, uh, with my Cadillac and with, um, with this truck, um, one's never been to a dealership but it's been to sears i would never go to sears never go to sears i still have to upload that video of them hot rodding my truck so um, that one happened a while ago but i just have never uploaded i've been a little nervous too you know you're talking about a corporation but you know what never go to sears besides the fact that they might be going out of business don't go to their automotive center because they've got that mentality hey we're going out of business who gives a brick what i do anymore so that, that at least the one in Battle Creek, Michigan. But anyway, um, yeah, Schweeters Chevrolet of Cold Spring, S C H W I E T E R S, Cold Spring, one oh five oh East Highway twenty three. So you need some good guys that you can trust. I've had very good experience with them so far. Um, compared to Miller Chevrolet. They were good guys at Miller Chevrolet. Don't get me wrong. They were afraid to tune the truck because I the truck was fully deleted. Um, and they were afraid that it was going to throw a million different lights for everything being deleted. I was like, I don't care. I've got tunes coming that will turn the lights off. I don't care. But then he also ran into a problem with the flow rates, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't know I needed to program the injector numbers to make it all happy, copacetic. So... You know, we were kind of in that boat. So, and now we're all hunky-dory. Now we know, and now you know. So, if I could help you out, save you some time, save you some money, then I try to do so and give you some tips. Check out the video on uh, me doing the steering column bearing because there's a life-saving tip in there. You don't have to go searching through hours of forums and whatnot. Um saves you a whole lot of time and headache and skin and blood because that was kind of a, could get messy if you're not careful but other than that old girls doing good do, 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 if i can find my key in my pocket the only key with my shitty ignition so that's how my dinger's doing these days it's only been a couple days, but, you know, whatever. Uh, just for craps and giggles, uh, range, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's not fuel, did I, there, 46%. Yeah, so, and that's how many miles I've put on the engine so far. 82.79, it's been a freaking trooper, man. I'm just, just blessed to the bone to have such a good running truck. And if you're wondering... Let me grab my scan tool. If you're wondering how I know the truck has been reprogrammed stock, I had my intake heater code because that wasn't deleted on this the old engine. I deleted it when I put the Y bridge in, which is a bummer because I really liked it. I would have kept it. I don't care how much turbulence it cost. But uh, we got our intake heater, which I've always had. 
and there's duplicate codes so that's uh, the P0405 that's for the EGR and now you go to the next code there you go P0405 and that is a duplicate code that's a duplicate code as well so there's really only two codes a history and a current or a current and a pending or whatever so that's how I know it's been flash back to stock because I never had that EGR code before. Now I do, but it uh, won't be for long. I got to call them today and see if the tunes will be ready tomorrow. And uh, I just want to verify because I specified I want turbo whistle out the exhaust and all tunes. Dad's truck will only do it on stage five. Bummer. I want it on all of them because this one had it on the two tunes and I like that. That's how, I mean, the LLY whistles out the exhaust stock, so I want that. Um... Other than that, I just want to specify, you know, make sure EGR is turned off, intake heater is turned off, because I want them codes gone. I want my check engine light, my new check engine light, out. Man. So, anyway. So, that's my short rant. Um, hope it helps, and uh, we will see you on the next one. So, thanks for watching. God bless.